Chapter 12 Saint Francis and the Wolf There are many beautiful stories about Saint Francis and his good deeds. He was the son of a rich merchant. He lived in Assisi, a small town in Italy. Francis was a kind person. He looked after the sick and helped the poor people. One day, Saint Francis was passing through a village called Gubbio. There was a savage wolf living near it. It would kill the hens, the ducks and the sheep of the villagers. All the people of the village were very frightened of it. Once, the wolf attacked two men in the village. The villagers wanted to kill it, but the wolf escaped every time. The villagers ran to St. Francis and said, Brother, please help us. This wicked wolf is troubling us a lot. St. Francis said, Good people, don't be afraid. I'll do something to help you. Then the saint went into the forest near the village. He went alone. He did not take a knife an axe or a stick with him. He found the wolf sitting in a cave. He spoke lovingly to it. Brother wolf, you have done many wrong and cruel actions. You have troubled the villagers of Gubio for a long time. You have killed their hens, ducks and sheep. You have even attacked the people there. It is bad of you to do so. I know that hunger has made you do all these wrong actions. If I ask the villagers to give you some food every day, will you stop attacking them and killing their animals? The wolf looked at St. Francis. It lifted a paw and put it in the saint's hand. The saint held it. Then he put it gently on the ground and patted it on its head. Then St. Francis walked down from the forest to the village. The wolf walked slowly behind him. When the villagers saw them, they were frightened and ran away. St. Francis called out to them, Don't run away. Don't be afraid. Now Brother Wolf will not trouble you again. If you give him something to eat every day, he will never attack you. He will never kill your animals. When they heard the calm words of St. Francis, the village people were not frightened any more. They came out of their houses. The terrible wolf had become Brother Wolf. He lived in the village for a long time. Everybody loved him and played with him. They gave him food every day. The wolf was very happy. St. Francis had changed the savage wolf into a kind animal by showing him love and kindness.